All of us in the theater world are very familiar with the story of the Phantom of the Opera, that mysterious ghostly figure who lives in the underbelly of a concert hall and sings to his angel of music. Well, I'm here at the Masonic Auditorium, downtown Cleveland, also a great concert hall among many other things, and I've discovered some phantoms of a different kind doing some great work also in the basement of this old place to restore grand music from the past. Take a look at the Western Reserve Theater Organ Society. preserve and promote the last remaining theater pipe organs in uh, the Western Reserve, greater Cleveland area and a little bit beyond. Uh, these are organs that were around in the 1920s. There were hundreds of them in this area. Now there's just a handful of them. Uh, nonetheless, this area actually boasts more of these instruments than a lot of other major cities across the country. So it's our job to work with the owners of the buildings where these organs are installed to keep them going or to have them available uh, for use and that sort of thing. They restore the grand and glorious instruments that used to accompany the silent films in the 20s. Well, they've undertaken a great big project this time, an organ that they received as a donation and brought it here from Michigan. About two and a half or three years ago, our chapter uh, kind of came to a crossroads and decided that we wanted to kind of take the bull by the horns and get one of these things we could call our own. And a major uh, development was to find a place where we could put it. And fortunately, long story short, uh, the kind folks here, the, the uh, Scottish Rite at the, the Masonic Auditorium uh, have agreed to allow us to install an organ here. And uh, right about at the same time, we uh, were the recipient of an organ that was donated to us, actually, uh, by a gentleman in Michigan who uh, decided he did not want to go through installing it in his own home. So we brought this organ here from Michigan in October of 2006, and uh, we have a crew of anywhere from three or four people to up to 10 or 12 people, depending on who's available, uh, working on it. Everything in this room is from one instrument. Uh, it is one pipe organ, uh, and it is a uh, quite a large theater organ. Uh, one of the major differences between a theater pipe organ and uh, a church organ, the kind of organs most people are more familiar with, is that theater organs were built back in the 20s to accompany silent movies. They were designed to emulate the sound of a band or an orchestra uh, with different sound effects and musical instruments. Church organs don't have those sorts of things. The scale of the pipes and the wind pressures and the variety of uh, sounds that come out of theater organ are generally quite uh, different than they are uh, on church organs. So every, every magnet connects by air to these little pneumatics and every one of these little pneumatics has one of these valves attached to it. That's what Frank is installing now. Frank is installing new primary valves into the bottom boards of a Wurlitzer wind chest. And it requires a fair amount of fine adjustment to get them to work just right. And then this in turn connects through the wind chest to a larger pneumatic that opens a valve that makes the pipe sound. theater organ or you can play jazz or Broadway shows. It's kind of hard to do anything but uh, church organ music, uh, classic repertoire and maybe transcriptions on a church organ. I've, I've had the experience countless times where people who've never heard of these things before uh, hear one played by an organist who of course can make it perform well and they're just stunned. They had no idea that some, something like this can make a sound like it does. It's just uh, pretty phenomenal. The Western Reserve Theater and Society is hosting the first ever national 
ATOS, or American Theatre Organ Society, convention here in Cleveland and uh, Greater Northeast Ohio. We are hoping that this will be one of the centerpieces of the convention here at the Masonic Auditorium. And uh, so we're working very hard to uh, put together a couple of shows. One will be a, a kind of a private showing for the uh, members only, but the other will be a, an extravaganza that we are doing on Sunday, July 5th, and it will be here Sunday evening where we hope to have a uh, pop style concert with another pipe organ that is in the same auditorium, a uh, pops ensemble, and a grand piano and some other musicians so that uh, we uh, expect to have uh, quite an interesting show and uh, it'll be open to the public. Stay tuned to call back for lots more exciting news about the Wirtos Restoration Project and the 2009 National Convention of the American Theatre Organ Society. Thanks so much for watching and as always for more information about the events you see here on Callback Email me at jeffshort at sbcglobal.net.